<laughs> Gross. All right, well, I'll catch us up real quick because um, they're already into turn one, so I'll just um... – Oh. There we go. All right, so we're we are live and broadcasting. What's up, everybody? Serious Jest here. I am joined in the booth by my boy Beers thirteen thirteen. Good pals up until we play each other, and then it's no holds barred. Try to kill each other's teams. Um, so kill, 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 Today you are witnessing We the Norse, coached by the Doom Frog, versus the Georgia Goons, coached by Colorado Celt. That is, uh, or Colorado Celt. I don't know how he pronounces it. Probably Colorado Celt is what I'm thinking. Anyway, it's Norse versus Orcs. This is big. These teams right now are kind of um, in a position where a win by either one could really help them make the playoffs by the end of the season. And um, we are seeing them set up. Big uh, return by the Yeti. I think the Yeti was out last week, right? Yeah, the Yeti was out last week versus me. Yep. 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 And now he's back, and and this time looks like uh, looks like the Norse have hired Wilhelm Cheney, the star werewolf, to come in and do things. And as the ball is kicked off, Jonas Valinkus suffers an injury as a fan throws a rock. That is the Yeti, and the Yeti's dead. Off a rock throw to start the what? contest, the apothecary runs in and he is Whoa. able to revive him and the yeti is going to rejoin us after the next kickoff but man that was a vicious rock dude that's huge that is crazy that those georgian fans are <laughs> then georgian fans dude. came out amped up and wow so wilhelm is going to try to apply his claw since the other claw is gone and then we're gonna see Otterdor knock down Fee here comes the Ulfer Werner and Kyle Larry <laughs> yeah Kyle Larry gonna hit fun bus to the ground I think fun bus was a former wasn't he a former uh, Titan green tie Titan or was it just Louise uh, now maybe fun bus was somebody else's I think it was just Luis. I think. Don't quote me. And now we're going to see the uh, journeyman, Olega Brander. He's going to – he caught the ball off the kickoff. He's going to hand the ball off to the team's free six. And Fun Bus is injured as the Norse come in with the big foul. The Black Orc is huge. badly hurt. He's gone. So, yeah, He's and, and the, the apothecary yeah, apothecary comes out. I mean, does not come out for that one. But that is a, uh, a orc that knows how to stand firm. He doesn't he, he isn't uh, pushed back easily. He's adept at dodging. Uh, they call him a blodger. And, uh, and he hits really hard with, the, like, a mighty blows. So losing I, him I, for I the entire match. Scoot. I may or may not know who gave that movement down to that for a little bit. Ah. Uh, uh, I may, I may not. Uh, that's uh, the the misfits kicking a lot of ass this year, even more than year. usual. Last season. <laughs> no, well, I mean, in terms of, I mean, the the record may not be exactly how you want it, but uh, the the ass kickery is still in place, though, causing injuries and stuff, causing attrition. So the orcs are gonna move up, put some people in contact, and dare these Norse to hit them back. They've got their guard all set up, and Ooh, we'll see what happens here. This is – so Fee is going to get injured. Out. Wow, that mighty blow is even too much for the Orc's armor, and we're going to see another Orc go off the pitch. This is not something I think the goons are used to. I think the goons are a little worn out from last week. They had a tough uh, tough battle last week, and now it's starting to show a little – maybe not a – it was a late, late week game, and now it's starting to – and their uh, attrition starting to show here. Who did they up? Oh, Wilhelm Cheney applying the claw. Oh. And that's a third orc going off the pitch. Oh, that's a broken jaw on that orc. He can't talk right. Oh, He's just going, oh, blah, 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 blah. I think he <laughs> said, yeah, that was crazy. It went all uh, over like his ear. Uh, I think oh, he was trying to say that hurts. <laughs> he can't quite get it out. Yikes. Norse are coming out big time after last week's uh, punishment they took and starting to really take it to these greenskins. This is, this is this is a big first couple turns for the Norse. That was against uh, Plague, right? Uh, no, they had them the week before. They had the Plague and then they had the Misfits back to back. 
Oh, last week was you guys. Oh, that's right. You injured the yeah, Yeti. Right, 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 right. Oh, yeah, that was a total, just a trouncing. That wasn't it. I mean, the Norse gave up, like, pretty much halfway through. Ow. <laughs> So uh, we're playing. By the way, this is a beer. There's a beer stand at the stadium at the North Stadium. Mm, it's my so, favorite type of stadium, didn't you know? Yeah, so if you That's could, uh, I, I was like, I gotta get to the stadium. I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> hey, we tied today. We, we tied. That's fine. But I gotta go. I got a beer stand. Are go. you one of those drunks that beats up the players when they go into the stands? No, I'm kind of gibbled, so we can't. I can't really. But I, I have people for that. <laughs> But when they're not looking, I like to turn around and just take a leak on their head. and then. Roger that. <laughs> it's even better when it comes out. Right? Oh, so it just ah, makes you feel so relieved. Blood <laughs> Bowl after dark. So, Here we go. <laughs> so actually for the Norse, they're walking into this into this match 1-0-2. Oh, a win here. Yeah, I was just look up could yeah could really put them kind of back on track and keep them alive for the playoffs a loss here yeah, would be so put him pretty bad back a second I think. if I'm not mistaken I think a point a point back right I'm not I forget what the goons are at I know they've lost one I think they lost the dark elves if I'm not mistaken they are 2-0 oh, and 1 so they are if with a win here they're in a strong position for the um yeah they'll, they'll, they'll jump yeah, up for, the, for the playoffs and I plague see. inc simultaneously playing right now as we know um against oh, the M Musalon morning stars who are 1-2 and 0 oh, and plague inc is 3-0 oh, and 0 oh. so there's i mean it's just all over the like it's pretty open for the playoffs yeah and you can't count those vamps out you know, week one they they showed some vamp BS, and then week two they they kind of fell apart near the end, but they still had a dominant game. So never count those vampires out. That's for sure. It looks like a Doomfrog is signaling over to the Gobbo ref. He's wondering why his Yeti is laying in the injury box and not waiting to come right back into the match. As it the apothecary clearly saved him from death. And it appeared oh, that he was resuscitated and, and, and good as new, ready to go. Have you been in the tequila today? Um, I'm looking down at the field here on my view, and I, there he is, waiting to come back out. Oh, really? Oh. Huh. Are you in the you've been in the? <laughs> no, I'm looking at. I mean, I maybe the crystal the ball is is showing. Maybe it's some some uh, some uh, orc tricks or something like that. Because even uh, Doomfrog is is seeing the same thing on his screen. But that that gives me hope then that it's just a, a display glitch, it, because if it's showing as him like up and ready to come back in on your screen, and that means there's a good chance that that could happen. But yeah, he's he's standing in the reserve box next to the Lulu. Mm. No, on mine he's laying mm -hmm. down in a bloody mess, right there mm -hmm. on the side. But uh, it looks like he'll probably come back. Vamps, oh, vamps are. Uh... Looks like they're uh, doing a number right now to the uh, Plague Inc. a little bit. Pounding away. 0-0. Zero, zero. Uh, looks like they're the start of turn two. Just up uh -huh. Nice. So we see a little Norse cage set up on the side over here. The orcs trying to penetrate it. But, see, normally the goons like to just, like, come at you like a tidal wave and rock you, uh, just kind of overpower you with their strength and guard and mighty blow. But, it, you know, losing three of their players right off the bat like that so early in the turn means that now they actually, they might, they're outnumbered, which is rare for them. They got another guard piece after their last game looking like this. Oof! This team's insane. Stop it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five skilled. No, maybe more than that. Two, three, four. I don't know. Oof. So we see, we see Kyle Lowry break up the right side of the field. Unlike, and he's uh, shouting, give me the ball, give me the ball. What's that? Yeah. This is kind of a different little tactic coming over yeah. by the Norse here. Ooh, the Norse love to throw those one-die blocks. Oh, oh. And, uh, well, yeah, oh, and some extra brother, training shaved him, saved him from uh, uh, getting screwed. Orcs showing their guard ability there, with the, the result being that uh, burning that reroll on that one die. Oh, ball's gonna move up the side of the uh, the pitch here. Pretty brave for uh, Free Sky. 
Free six? Free sykes? I don't know. Just call them free redhead. Oh, it's free oh, six. Yeah. It's free six, I think. Free six. All oh, right, right. Free six. Or as the fans like to call them, free sex. Free sex, sexy. baby. That's why I got confused. <laughs> Ooh, we see a little mini wall going up on the uh, one side here. Could be going for uh, one of those uh, tactics you put up against the dwarfs, uh, spread them out a bit. So, right. I don't know if how I don't know how much you want to uh, entice these uh, greenskins to start punching back, but you know, might want to keep your distance. Yeah, this is a rare situation where I see the goons are kind of outnumbered, and but I don't think they're out strengthed, oh, and they're not guarded. outguarded. It's so, still but tricky, though. yeah, it is, because the Norse have the ability to just overwhelm you as well if you're not careful. Ooh, a little one die action going there. Oh, oh push, push. That's good. Pin the ball carrier in. Right, you got all the, the three Norse uh, out to the far side here. And I don't know if uh, that's going to help. Oh, 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 Nuffle says no. You got to hate when that happens. Uh, getting all ramped up. He saw his eyes big as his head. He's running over there. And then he got confused. And, uh, <laughs> high five? High five? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Still in a bad position for uh, poor Spicy P. Oh, some more one dice. Oh, uh -huh. the one dice. Very interesting. Cheney takes it, bumps on back. Interesting now. Norris got a few options here. Not very many, though. <laughs> Because <laughs> all the guard, I mean, normally if you were the orcs, you'd be worried about your placement on the sideline of getting surfed, but the guard is making it ex especially difficult. Four, five, six. Hmm. This could be, a, this could be oh, very interesting. Oh, what just happened? Try to dodge away. No, successfully. Try again. There you go. He's gonna. There he's he gonna. Is. Yeah. Put himself in a better position. Hands the ball off to Cheney. SPP be damned. They're gonna let Cheney we do go. his thing. We go. And that pretty There's much the ensures the score. Barring some craziness happening. The Norse decide. Ah. Eh, you threw all your guys over here because you wanted to fight on the sideline. And we're just gonna take our business elsewhere. Go all the way across the field. That is big. <laughs> Doom, if you're listening, bud, your uh, your Yeti's fine. If he passed the the roll when you used your Apo and it said he was fine, join substitute. Don't worry about what's in the uh, where he is in the uh, the side. This was a glitch back in the day. Do you remember this multiple times? Oh, Passable. that's big. Ice pick Shakur. Is gonna Ooh. knock the orc to the Ooh. ground and then drop the elbow on him. Doesn't do what he needed it to do though. Still gonna keep punching. Well, Lorenzo Percy, Brown. Far cry going in. Come through. Ooh. And will he drop the elbow? Yes, he will. Pile on the pile on her. And that's an injury! No. Oh, that's Four good. orcs off the pitch. This is starting to get really ugly. That's huge. All of these so far, all these players look just badly hurt, though. No permanent injuries. On Which... this next game. I'm just checking now. Oh, oops, slip, slip. I don't think he saw the legs sticking out there and uh, whoop, tripped right over it. Well, he's, he's Spicy P is better with that than getting pushed into the crowd, which is what was getting threatened to happen now. <laughs> so just the one uh, this next game that's looking like so. Oop. Everybody else just uh, for this game. This is this is where the Norse become super dangerous. 
They take the battle to you before you can overwhelm their their low armor. And all of a sudden, the orcs may find themselves in the position where they don't get to break armor as, as much as they want to because they, they don't have enough men to overwhelm the other side. Or they don't have enough uh, orcs, rather, to get them on the ground. <laughs> That'll be interesting to see how aggressive the uh, Doomfrog and the... Uh... We, the Norse, are going to be with the, the stalling tactic they've got here. Cheney has the ball. I wouldn't I wouldn't see him trying to do anything crazy with Cheney besides scoring. Maybe a handoff, maybe. But yeah, kinda, I think I agree. Could take advantage of this setup, though, and maybe now that the the orcs are kind of spread out, the goons, uh, the guard's not as effective now that they're all spread apart. They might take a couple shots where they can here. Lorenzo Brown jumps up from the ground unexpected to poor Foom Fam Fum 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 Who gets knocked to the ground. No pile. And then No. He decided not to pile on him, which was strange why he wouldn't do that unless he is planning to stall. Oh no, I think he wanted to keep him. After the assist. Not a bad idea. Could have used spicy P for that. All right. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't do the uh, the pile on there. You know, the last thing you want to do is let these uh, these goons get back into this game by uh, doing especially only a quarter of the way through the match. Right. Oh, Langerham Hammer Hammer or whatever the hell you want to call him. He's uh, I don't think he's. I don't too know happy what's going on right now. Three green skins it looks like Kyle him. Lowry is in the end zone and waving for the ball. He wants the ball. And is Wilhelm Cheney going to hand him the ball? Oh, no. Okay. He's just going to stall it out. So it looks like they're they're going to try to stall it out with Wilhelm Cheney. So that was... Give him another go here. I thought, I thought the Norse were about to get real risky. Oh. And he left say, be, uh, surprised that Longremore stayed nestled among these dorks, right? You, know, you, do you, you never want to give up free hits if you're Norse. And that's just what they're doing. They're allowing the orcs to come back and smack them. But they, they have confidence in that Mankini. And it holds up strong. Mankini. <laughs> well, the orcs moving over now. I'm forcing this... Uh... You know, forcing the uh, the opportunity here for these Norse. Okay, well, you got the ball. You better score now because we're going to punish you. Yeah, definitely, uh, the Norse have them all spread out, though. Here comes the Blitz. Blitz is good. Well, yeah, see, I personally didn't really like that stall because now stuff's going to get complicated. And like you said, yeah. Cheney One is a star player ball. and suffers from doing loner shit sometimes. So... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here comes the guard all over that ball. Yep. So this is where stuff can get complicated. Let's see, maybe the, the Norse decide, you know, it's just easier just to hand it off and be done with this. <laughs> huge. But, Four I mean, orcs. yeah, but Kyle Lowry is not exactly... A, uh, the handiest of hands. Yeah, exactly. And I know it'd be Must great be for SPP, hands. but there we go. Lorenzo Brown's gonna hit Gould on. Bonk. Oh, Mankini holds up again. Or he's gonna be hit by Gould on. My bad. I thought thought it was the other way around. And now it's the Norris. I'm wondering how how this is gonna play out. Gould on. Oh. Poor Jess. That must be, does that feel a little sour right now? A little, little ghoul Dawn? Ah, uh, no. Nah, ghouls that. <laughs> ghouls are on my team. We haven't had a uh, a good ghoul for quite a while. So congratulations. You uh, killed a, a, almost a rookie ghoul. Hey, come on. I got to take my pokes. Uh, how did, the, how, did you get that win, though? Oh, you didn't get no, the. We oh. Don't win. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Well, this is a little better option here. Spicy Poo. Spicy P moving over. Spicy Poo. Whoa. Now we got greedy. Yikes. Spicy Poo. Because well, the blitz I think it's Spicy Poo. Oh, a 
another orc injured! Wow. This is a snuff film! The Norse are up for this game! That one's gonna crack the armor real bad, but the apple was able to come in there and fix him Save up. Him. Jeez. That well, could have been that would have been the fifth That would have been the fifth uh casualty. Uh, the Norse are not done yet. Let's see what else uh, they're going to pull out. Uh-oh. We're seeing a surf. Know. Get out your boogie surf, boards. Surf. Goodbye. Oh, oh it's another injury this time. Gold done. Oh this is God. crazy. <laughs> I have never seen the Georgia Goons. Oh, oh and nailed, that's dude. it. He is going to be niggled. This is a niggling injury. I've never, oh. ever seen the Georgia Goons get manhandled like the Norse are giving it to him right now. This no, is insane. No and again, Lorenzo Brown no, off the ground no, pumps up, and he says, "You're not, I'm not." They don't like the dirty players, and Fum is KO'd. Yikes! Look at this, down to four orcs on the pitch, and they're all surrounding the ball carrier though. So, and they are going to hand it off. Oh, for the touchdown! That's oh, crazy. That's Spicy P. That's the thing about Norris. You, you know, one week they take a pounding and get pommeled. The next week they come out and they, they flip the script. Oh, no, no. We learned something from last week. Here's what we learned. Greenskin's going off the pitch faster than the beer's getting drank right now. <laughs> on the stands. That's crazy. So, dead and injured, it was showing zero even though the Yeti's laying there. The knockout's <laughs> going to return. The knocked out player. Thank so God for the little the, things, huh? Now the Norse have two claw pieces back on the pitch. Yeah, oh, this is... I remember that from before Legendary came out. That is a crazy injury box. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five orcs gone. Uh, this next game, a Nagel. Oh, the rest are just uh, badly hurt. This is a crazy match. That is seven <laughs> orcs left now because they came in with 12 players. Looking over at the Battle of the Nurgle and Vamp. Oh, just as I tune in, I get to see a uh, Vamp get a little thirsty here. Uh oh. Looks like it's 0-0, zero, zero, the, the top of the fifth turn. Vamps have uh, lost the ball, it looks like. Nurgle in possession. Can't tell who that is. There. But uh, maybe not for long. Looks like uh, some Vamp BS coming over. <laughs> Poor chicken pox is going to get pommeled. You know, just how it goes sometimes, right? Just how the cookie crumbles. You know? Absolutely. Just waiting on the result. Bro. Chicken pox is going to go down, too. So the Norse, interesting formation. They decide to back most of the team up all the way back. And put three sacrificial lambs up. Oh, not a bad idea at all. I was all I was dominant. Yes, I was just thinking though, at this point, when you have such a numbers domination in the other team, sometimes you throw everybody up there and dare them to hit you. But with yeah, so much guard, guard yeah, yeah, so many guard skilled players on the Oryx. Oh look at that. A nice gentle gust of wind catches the ball and blows it past. Yeah, blows it past, uh, what's his name, Gorkost. Not a bad thrower, though, for the Orcs. Yeah. Oh, let's see if these loners can hold up. First hit, yeah, so far so good. It's just a concussion. Just a little brain rattle. You know, <laughs> a little traumatic day, brain injury. What's concussion? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't exist. Oof, another concussion. Ooh, that was a big right or left hook, too. Yeah. Works are not uh, returning the favor of uh, with the removals here. No, that's it. I mean, it's, it's just stuns. That man, those mankinis have been holding up. Yeah. They always seem to do, don't they? <laughs> they either bust like crazy or they're like... Wearing gold fleece, baby. Absolutely true. Uh-oh. A little backhand action and a third stun in a row. 
Colorado Ooh. over on the sideline with his clipboard upset that there's no removals because those stuns aren't going to do him good. I mean, they are they are good, though, for the for increasing the possibility of the score. But with these numbers like this, I don't know about you, Beers. I just don't see this happening in even three turns. Maybe could happen. But they're going to need good. some re removals. Yeah, they're they're just, they, they want to try to get the get the tying touchdown here before the halftime. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna need it. They're kind of enticing them up. Come on up and get us, boys. Come on mm -hmm. up. Let's see how aggressive the Norse are gonna be here. Well, it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Dean's got three options here. See which one he uh, decides to pick, because he's obviously going to pick one of them. He decides not to use Cheney, but instead, Cheney's heading up. Uh-oh. Burt Costa, Wait. not uh, too impressed here with uh, Cheney eyeballing him. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like it. I just... Mm. This is risky. I don't think I would either. See what, I, uh, what the Eddie's going to do. We're still got a few options going to come out. They pick on the uh, the big black or maybe the, the younger of the uh, linemen. We go after Ram, the uh, blitzer. That's good. Oh. Oh, and that ball. could be devastating. That could be devastating. Oh. Doing that stuff with zero rerolls is uh, that is risky. The Vikings were feeling themselves a little too much there, and this that could be the uh, the crease they needed, the opportunity the goons needed. Yeah, this is going to open up a big doorway for them. Lots of options for them here. None of the uh, oh yeah, the zero stuff. You say none of the none of the uh, linemen got up, but oh wait, they couldn't get up. They just rolled over. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, the blitz you. So they're not gonna. All right, let me see here. So subdue is gonna come in, lay the smack down on Otodore, but again, he he comes in and hits him, but he hits him in the balls, and the mankini is reinforced. So I thought the orcs would take advantage of the surf uh, um, opportunities, but they just said, "Not nah, we're gonna we're gonna favor positioning over doing that." Positioning more important. Well, that's an interesting play. Okay. That kind of leaves uh, Rex kind of sitting there going, "Okay." Do I go with the pack? Do I go to the runner? Do I go with the pack? Do I go with the runner? Do I move ahead? Mm. <laughs> you're going to go over and you're going to see the guard come into play now. Kyle Lauer moving up. He's going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Big Rex. See how uh, more aggressive these Norse could be. He could be very aggressive here. Especially with Cheney sitting back where he is. Absolutely. Hmm. What are the Norse going to do? Oh, interesting. Interesting. Looks like they're pinning them in here. The, uh, the Eddie wants to get involved. Ooh, that jump up skill for the for these berserkers is so That's useful. It's been just brutal. Knocking from jump? forward. Knocking the jump is going to take the hit, the, give the assist instead. It's be a good successful block. Gets him off the sideline. There we go. I think I know where the blitz is coming from. Of course you The Yeti's coming that way. He's going to sit in front of Radar and basically growl at him. 
Radar's still a little fuzzy after seeing the Apothecary. Not very many turns ago. Here comes the Blitz. It's coming from a different spot than I did. Mm. Yeah, push. Yeah, I would. So they're gonna they're gonna opt to lock out. down the ball carrier. Well, he's locked. He's pretty locked. But I I actually thought he was gonna use right, Cheney for the blitz. Yeah. yeah. Why not dig those claws in when you can? Yep. Can we see in uh, the Oh, they're just gonna to triple down on the ball carrier. This is not what I expected. Even with that, uh, the higher agility, like, mm, they have a ball carry, or they have a per two players in uh, scoring range. In scoring position. range, right. So the, the standard move would normally be by somebody to knock out one of the two th scoring threats and then load up on the third, right? Because, I mean, you could put all the men you want on this guy. This guy can't, if he has nobody to throw to, he's not. he doesn't have the mobility to get to the end zone. So I'm not saying this isn't a tough situation. This is good defense, but to me, I, I think the higher probability, uh, you know, way to stop the touchdown would be to eliminate the scoring threat. So I thought when he got the Yeti here, you know, there's a there's a good chance Radar is not getting past this Yeti into the end zone. He'd have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I guess he could do it. Oh, and yeah, see, and this is what this good. opens up now. I was afraid of. Yeah, yeah, this opens him right out. This ball carrier is now totally free. Now it's just up to the thrower. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, the Yeti there, you pin him. Yeti did his job. He, he didn't go wild. Pin that one in. I thought the, the blitz would have came over here on uh, Sadu. Look at that. Seven. Almost makes it out. That could have been disastrous. He made the first dodge, unable to make the second one, which I think was the easier one, the right? Second one was easier. Yep, yeah. <laughs> and we are at halftime, ladies and gentlemen. We remind you to drink your Bloodweiser. These fans oh, in here are going nuts. <laughs> I'm going to run down on the Bloodweiser hut. Yeah. Nice. I love this. I love coming to these stadiums. <laughs> Now I'll be right back as they set up. Like the uh, Norse set up for defense, the Orcs talking about how they're going to approach this with, again, only seven, seven players left on the field. Meanwhile, the Norse still got an extra man over there sitting there. That's a uh, free six. Their thrower, who doesn't need to be in the game right now since they're playing defense. Now, the craziness of this game is that, I mean, don't think it's over. It's not looking good for, oh, and the fans riot. They, they, all the trash talking just, just exponentially develops. Players start trampling over the field. I mean, uh, players are involved. Fans are involved. It's crazy. It takes a whole turn to get these fans and players off of each other. The refs, when it's all over, say we are not putting that time back on the clock. You guys are just going to have to deal with it. So like I was saying, this is one of those situations where, again, I mean, the Norse do not have much armor, but, you know, and, and which makes them susceptible to the orcs evening up these numbers quickly. So anything can still happen, especially the way these orcs hit. And there you go. There's the first Norse injury. It's taken an entire half for this to kick in. Langermore, however... Doesn't it? Once one goes, they, there's usually a few to follow. Mm -hmm. Now it's 10 to 7 on the field in favor of the Norse. 
And just as I say that, Rekka Bone Grinder is going to let Oliger have it. Who's picking on the loner? Oh, with a big uppercut, dude. There's an extra little bit of authority into that one. And Oliger, uh, his whole story is he is actually a uh, blacksmith from the local village who's kind of been a, uh, he was a standout in high school at Blood Bowl, um, but never really uh, developed beyond that. He had some uh, academic issues that kept him out of playing Blood Bowl in college, and he got his first shot during the open call um, at joining his favorite team, We the Norse, and... He's just out here doing his thing. Cheney. One die shot. Oh, Cheney didn't see it coming. Yikes. Oh, few chicklets hit the ground. Cheney's going to survive it. Might have to pick his chicklets up and put them back in, but uh, he'll be back. Yeah, for now, he's just kind of crawling around with his eyes rolled into the back of his head. I don't think he knows where he is. That or he's picking his chicklets up. <laughs> that too. One. <laughs> two. <laughs> Oh, I lost count. Start again. One, <laughs> two. <laughs> oh, wow. He wanted that bad enough that uh, he was willing to invoke the extra training from that week. But Jonas Valenciunas directed by Doomfrog to attack. And instead, the Yeti sees what the, the, the fur on his legs and starts to chew on it. Weird. I think he's a little, uh, still a little foggy from uh, that hit he took from that rock. I think. He's yeah, being killed momentarily. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> oh, he might still be a little me. foggy from the time he died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that what happened? Oh, I must have missed it. <laughs> People die from rocks in this game? Oh, cray, cray. that never happens. <laughs> cray, cray. Oh, my God. That's it, I'm out. Cray, 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 I'm out. Really? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Score update. Uh, the bottom of turn seven in the uh, the Nurgle Vampire game, and it's one nothing for the Vampires. Oh, wow. Below the game, bro. The Musilon Morningstar is doing big things. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see the, uh, the Norse uh, pulling a little book on the, uh, the elf... Uh, playbooks here with some columns well, I guess after that Yeti uh, uh, brain fart oh look at this loaders like I, I don't want to stay in the pond, but I'm okay <laughs> I'm gonna switch the camera view because the orcs are on offense I didn't think of that yeah, how do you do that oh there we go that's better Keep forgetting how to do that half the time. Uh, oh, looks like they're loading up on the Yeti. Jonas, uh, Jonas yeah, about to take another punch. Like Is he gonna get a little, a little, some more of the business? Oh my Jonas! And here, here comes, comes. Subdue. Oh yeah. With a little punch face. The snap the, of the base. Yeti falls, but he will be back up. I'm surprised to stand firm though. By the honest truth. Yeah, he allowed himself to remain in the... Uh, and it does not look like right now... They're not going to look... interesting to see if uh, Colorado pulls the trigger here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. hmm, mm -hmm. Because you are definitely see seeing Fum. Yeah, you're seeing Fum. Fum looking over at that Yeti, and he's really tempted. He's looking back to the coach there for the go-ahead. The coach gives him the thumbs up, and here comes Fum! A nasty drop of a fist onto Jonas, who is stunned, but Ooh, survives. He just caught him in the air. He just, he just caught him in the abdomen, knocked the air out of him. He didn't, uh, didn't get him up by the throat, where uh, usually those dirty players aim. It's usually the throat or the genitals. Usually. Good call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think he got a little too excited to uh, <laughs> put those double palms down on that Yeti. Now you're going to see the Norse retaliate. Yeah, we'll see uh, who their target's going to be. I think they're, uh, looks like they're loading over here up on uh, Radar a little bit. Radar may be the recipient. It's possible. Of some... You'll see these uh, Norse columns. Continue. Ooh, yeah, Radar's Kyle Larry with the mighty blow and does not crack that heavy orc armor. 
Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't go with one of his pylon pieces there. Oh, yeah, but surprised. smart move, though, because the pylon pieces are all the way across Ooh. the board. He's not looking. Doomfrog is not directing his men to focus on attrition at all costs. They have the advantage in that department. What he wanted to do was put a body on his thrower and force that thrower to take some chances. Well, he's definitely got that. Cheney back up on his feet. Absolutely. Pause. Pause, I guess. Pause. <laughs> his deep blue paw there, anyways. Man, how's that thing not like dying of like heat exhaustion with that massive fur and all yeah, that right? big heavy coat? So Fortunately for him, the sun's the, the sun's not too hot right now. <laughs> Fortunately for him. And ooh, oh, little look at the loner. Fast loner, feet. Loner. We's in the jit. Ooh. Ooh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> And we got Gio <laughs> Hasekas in the stands. Cheers in a beer. Salud. And this is the thing. By uh, pulling everybody, by marking the ball carrier but not marking anybody else, he allowed Hammer Toe the freedom to just rain over there and take a shot at Kyle Lowry. Nice. However. A little slap in the face, but uh, or a slap in the chest, a little Hulk Hogan style there. Mm -hmm. but, uh, Say, Back up, brother. Listen, brother. <laughs> oh. Listen, brother. There'll be none of that. So they're not. It looks like they're not going to foul the Yeti again. I'm going to let him lay oh, there on the like ground. The looks like they're uh, they're going to focus in on uh, you know maybe putting this ball in the end zone at some point. Unlike the uh, hashtag uh, misfits suck at doing that. Just. So <laughs> <laughs> Listen, and... mother, you can't win a game if you don't put the ball <laughs> in the end zone. <laughs> so this is interesting. It's an interesting form. Okay. Oh, okay. No? I think they'll leave him there, and he's going to think, yep, okay, we're going to okay. see. It's a nice little seal there. Oh, very uh. well sealed. Guard all over the place. Oh. Yeah, he's daring them. He's daring the Norse to come in and take a shot now. I really thought standard procedure would have said put Rekka right here. But uh, they're inviting him. Hey, you know, we'll leave you this corner here. You want to come in and take a shot with red dice? Oh, no rerolls left for. Uh, True. For it's almost like he's baiting him. Uh, he's looking for mistakes now. Let's see some Jayden more columns. Move. Is not uh, blitzing more with Janie here. Dig those claws in. Janie's had a so far a very good game for these uh, Norse. Unlike Definitely, Boston, he's been solid. Yeah. Let's see uh, who the Norse decide to pick on. They definitely have many options. Yeah, Got the columns going up very nicely. If you're, uh, if you're an elf fan, <laughs> find yourself. <clears throat> I think it's pretty dirty and disgusting blood bowl play. But, you know, <laughs> love out to you. you know. The problem with this yeti this. being hampered in his movement is getting up mm. makes it a big problem for him. Oh, they, they've they've. Uh, marked out the back side of this cage. Subdue. I don't think he's too happy with Kyle Lowry hanging around him right now. And mark up the top left corner as well. Fum. Oh. He's, uh, he's held in there, but he's got a... Uh, his jaw's got to be getting pretty sore from getting walked. I'm not going to see it. You know, I guess the Yeti's going to take oh, a turn. Ho, ho. <laughs> the Yeti starts to uh, lick himself instead of getting up. And I he seems have pretty. With that apothecary. He's uh, he's still foggy. Did he do his job while he's alive? At least? But, Good point. Uh, this isn't the same Yeti from uh, prior matches. Yeah, he's lost a step. A yeah, lost a step. Missed a week. Takes a rock off the noodle. 
Now the goons are uh, in a tough position here, Justy. I don't know. This is, this is going to be hard to break these columns with the low numbers they have. Yes, but you know, all it's going to take is a couple more players. Even stuns will do, and then the the uh, the amount of players that are skilled in in the guard technique here really allow the goons to to do some things against superior numbers. I mean, you know, nobody knows that better than you. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. But if you're not getting those removals, though, these columns can just eat away stew style. Yeah. The stew style. So <laughs> I'll throw that one in there. Since, you know, Canadians play. And hey. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to the only Canadian champ with the MML. Nice. Mm. This is interesting. He's going to go for the one die block. Both these coaches have no problem throwing one base. Absolutely not. And I mean, the question here is: Is this going to be a tie, or is this going to be a uh, a win? Because the time is winding down on the Norse and I mean the Orcs, and they just—I don't think the game plan for them anymore is score fast and try to get the ball back. I think they're just trying to tie it up one to one. But you're right. I mean, this—the Mankinis are not giving way. And this could this be a problem. Breaks rinks. This is very go. interesting. Kind of weakens up this uh, this column defense he had going. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tough one to decide on. Mm. Now this, this weakened their defense. I thought the Yeti was going to come in with a blitz, keep the column strong, but uh, now uh, let's see if the uh, the Norse are going to collapse upon this and maybe force the uh, the Orcs to use the, the that wonderful guard skill they have for themselves. Right now, this could go either way. Right now, looking at yeah. uh, judging by the that was a key the decision right there. Mm -hmm. Had he successfully mm -hmm. even removed that player, um, then he'd be stand, he'd be sitting in a uh, a pretty improved position at this point both so he's got kind of a hybrid going on or he's marking the he's marking the ball carrier oh the yeti again he's having too much fun licking himself really likes the taste and he is uh, uh and there's, there's the one, one die block a little they patty cake each other <laughs> day five. Yeah. Uh -huh. but in the meantime that ties up the players so uh columns are back up so the Norse went for a shot but were able to uh, not or unable to uh, bring down a player but at the same time they're able to hold that strong defense it'll be interesting here to see uh, how aggressive these orcs are going to be time winding down they you'd think they'd have to start getting aggressive yeah with three turns to go I'm interested to see what's going to happen here this is a very strong Norse team. Oh! Fortunately, some extra training was done on blocks this week for ch uh, for the uh, Fum. Fum. And Fum. Wilhelm. Fum. <laughs> Wilhelm is knocked to the ground and stunned. And that's how it goes, huh? So sometimes you get the ball carrier right in within your claws, and the next minute, you're on the ground oh, again. Geez. Picking up chiclets. Picking up chicklets. Starting to see the numbers for the Norse here kind of yeah. balance against that, all that guard. So it's very interesting. With this column defense, they're, they're playing extremely disciplined. Even though they oh, took wow. a shot on the last turn, I did like it, but still. That oh, is an aggressive is, technique. But is it going to work? action here. Use the ball carrier to mark the help, mark the player. Boom, shalak, lock, boom. Subdue is going to knock for the wine down, but he's not out. And then Subdue also marking up the loner, Oleg Brandur. Well, one die action. That's going to result in the skull. Oh, man down. Tupac Shakur counter right punches. Up. He saw that a mile away. He sensed that. He saw oh, his yeah. fist instantly pop up as the orc was ready to 
pounce. He kept his head up. Jaw rattles. Yeah, keep set up, right? <laughs> keep stick on the ice, eh, Don Chair? <laughs> Big hit coming in to subdue by the loader of all people. Ooh, that was crucial. Now there's another body on the ball carrier. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, the Yeti gonna come up. He gets up off his back. Finally done licking himself. Maybe to the point of completion. I don't know. I don't want to know. Oh, Lead bowl after dark. Oh, God. Beer. <laughs> Somebody beer me. I have to watch that vision out of my brain. Yikes. Ice pick Shakur. Hits hammer toe. Oh, hey. This is huge. And makes him look like camel toe. And this... Could get yeah, ugly quick. Norse are gonna coming around, oh, swinging around the backside. Looks Norse like maximizing the hits, yeah. Look at that. Bad and Radar idea. says, "You like apples? How you like those?" <laughs> oh, <laughs> Booyakasha! Radar's dead. Oh, another orc casualty, and that one is of the permanent kind. The Georgia Goons are not going to have, <laughs> they are not going to have TV issues uh, making, issues making Jesus the TV Christ, cap next season. Who has season. this team next week? Speaking of the Blitz, mm, here it comes. I wonder who would be Mr. happy Jones about, who would benefit from this team being decimated before next week? Hmm. Probably a furry team. team you mean a, uh, a gorgeous, beautiful Necro team. Why, yes. Looking good for them. So here come the Norse. Just my finger. another pow. Is that seriously who you have next week? The, the, yep. Oh, yes. I was not happy about it until watching this game. Um, but, you know, again, I mean, honestly, Colorado's teams... His, 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 his goons really ride to the occasion against, I mean, ever since even the first season when they came into the league when they were so-called undeveloped. So. We're watching this. We're watching this team get absolutely pommeled by Norris. And this isn't the first time we've seen Norris do this. No. Nope. I remember Tripp in his championship run. He, he did this to team after team after team. Oh. Colorado's and these goons, you know, they've had, what, three solid seasons now. They were Solid due. Seasons. They were due for they some did. bad luck. <laughs> this is just crazy. Though. A niggle, a dead, a miss next game. Like, did not see this coming. Today. Yeah, me neither. Of course, you know, they took that beating last week, and uh, maybe they learned something and came out. And here's the result. Yeah, strike of that. first. <laughs> That's All what right. they hopefully learned. One, so this two, is tricky now. Two, One more turn left after this for the uh, Orcs, and wow. Wow. Kind of do a little potato action. Whoop, whoop. That, I'm not sure I like that move, but hey, that's, I mean, it's ballsy, and I don't like it. I don't. Oh, man down. Man down. That's the last oh. reroll. But... All right, he's, he's up and out of the way now. So I kind of see what he's doing. <laughs> huh? well, he's forcing a lot of problems here. Yeah, well, now this is basically... He, he, his back was against the wall, no? Yeah, no, no I agree. But, uh... Wow. Oh, he goes for the extra two meters and no. pulls up lame. No. Oh, I'm shocked he did that. He slips and falls, loses the ball. I am shocked. This wow. could be a real Either problem. Way, he was in trouble. Either yeah. way, it didn't matter. You didn't need to do that extra. Oh, well. You know, yeah, I didn't like he the got potato. Showboating a bit there. He, you know, got a little showboaty. I guess he was Sometimes scared. Of, he, he was scared him. of this entire back line, though. You know what? I think he had to do it now. Thinking about it, all three of these guys could have just wrecked him if he had. Yeah, I think he had to do it. Either way, he was but I wrecked. think the extra He's GFI may have been one he didn't need. He just didn't want to get marked up by Lorenzo Not Brown. The, or... the first one, I, I I saw the first one. I agree with the first one, but. Hey, we're not the coach. A uh, second GFI would have cleared him, like would have made him super hard to get to, though. And so I guess he's figuring, well, I got a, only a one in six chance of failure, and then I make it a ton more difficult for my opponent. But 
Nuffle stepped in and said no. And Lorenzo Brown's going to hit Wreck a Bone Grinder, and he's not going to pile on. Again, these Norse well, have kind of lost their uh, mercy. Yeah, they've lost their uh, their edge for blood. I think I think he just wants to keep as many bodies up as possible at this point. It's more about the positioning. And yeah, then you're going to have absolutely. You're going to have for the wine roll up, put a body on the ball. Look at that, some bodies on the ball. This is going to make it real difficult. It is difficult. No, no. I just can't believe the number of casualties these orcs took. I've never seen this Georgia get worked like this. I, I haven't seen this in seasons. Many, many seasons now I haven't seen this. That's six casualties, that, uh, not including the death of the... Uh, or the, or the, one of them that was appoed successfully? Appoed, yep. Successfully appoed, yeah. Yeah, Radar got successfully appoed, actually. Hmm. And look who's dead. Radar is dead. So. But isn't that the worst when that happens? Yeah, the last time I saw this, I think it was uh, the Grunts, one of the a big, big match like this. There was a big uh, lot riding on it, and I think the Grunts got pommeled pretty good. <laughs> it was, Jesus, I don't remember how many seasons ago now, but last time I saw an Orc team uh, trying to keep pace with the rest of Playpool for uh, the top two spots. And getting pommeled in the process. Uh, Ooh, oh, Spicy P with the extra step, trips, and falls. What is it about that, that area of the pitch? Maybe Wilhelm well, pissed step. over there before. Did, or the did Yeti you see did. it when he was running? A string fell down from his mankini, and he, it kind of got wrapped around his knee, and down uh, he went. That's why mankinis are it. tough. We got to get better solars in this game. Or, you know, that's what happens. You know? Your mankini just starts to unravel. <laughs> it's no bueno. <laughs> That's a tough Ooh. spot for the Orcs. Turn 16. I don't see how he's getting out of this. Or I don't see how he's getting a touchdown. I don't, it's not looking very likely. Crazy work BS? Is that a thing? That's what he's going to have to do. That's all I can see. I don't even see how you, how you free up even a, take one of them off of that. There's not very many greenskins left on this pitch. Six in total. Oof, that. Yeah. Oh, he's a pro, though. So it kicks in. He's going to try to make it all the way, and he does. And so this is how he plans to do it. Ugh. Yeah, Ironically, it was Spicy P that got in the way and stopped this from being able to be something else. It's still not looking likely right now. See, if it wasn't for Spicy uh, Spicy P's body there. Oh, and Gorkos is going to stand up, take a swing, and that's game, folks. He did not get his feet set before he threw that mm -mm. punch. He, the end zone was so close. And he was he's unable to bring it home. High. He had to do after the punch. He just didn't get his feet set in the turf. And, uh, and he was caught with his uh, jaw looking the other way. Oh, and the Norse decide to ease up on take it easy on the Orcs. Uh, I can't say I like that. Right I can't yeah, say I like yeah. it. <laughs> How many injuries? Uh, I might be biased. I, so, eh, eh, sorry, eh? Sorry, <laughs> So wow, well, and the uh, journeyman Oligbrander gets the uh, the MVP. He, he did. Be tired after that game. He might. He might. I he mean, they are going to need. Well, survived the whole game. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Look at the statistics real quick. The uh, goons had more ball possession, but the Norse made theirs count. About the same number of blocks, just three more for the Norse, but a drastic difference in, in – see, the thing is there was about the same armor breaks too, so that's the crazy thing is the Norse got about the same armor breaks, but it was just the Norse made theirs count, and that was where it came down to. That extra little drive in there and crack the jaw, pop the rib, pop the – uh, one case popped the guy's brain out of his head, but uh, you know, I'll crazy. Check the replay on that one. Crazy. Well, thank you well, all for tuning one in. Hell of a match. Yeah, in well, under an hour too, just under an hour. Action packed. Score update before we run away. We're at the uh, 
the bottom of turn 10 between the uh, the Norse and uh, the the vampires, and it's looking like one nothing for the vamps still. Well, I'll give you the option. Do you want to flip over to that game, or we can just continue the broadcast? Uh, let me just click when my phone just vibrated. I don't want to get crazy here. Yeah, flip it on over. I got a little bit of time. I can. All right, move. we will switch over Let's now to finish it off. To the next matchup for our play pool, the F4 wow. and Dungeon West. So the first four in Dungeon West, and then we were gonna we're gonna go <laughs> over to Plague Inc. versus Musilon Morning Stars, and uh, it looks like a very uh, deadly game already. Just uh, whoop, I'm clicking on my mouse and wrong things here. Looks so like we got uh, two injuries and a KO for the uh, Nurgle. And so far, just two KOs. I can't see Sturm's not uh, zooming down enough. For him so it looks like uh, while we're loading up, Doomfrog wants to join us. I'll invite him. Now, I'm not making the party open, Doomfrog. I don't want just anybody jumping in. Like... <laughs> no, I'll invite Doofrog. Just like, but I might get like somebody jumping in and going like, "Oh, hey, you playing Dead by Daylight?" Like, no, I'm playing something else. Oh, okay. When are you gonna play Dead by Daylight? I don't know, man. I'm in the middle of broadcasting right now, so like, maybe not yet. I'll throw Colorado an invite as well too, in case he wants to join us. Yeah, I don't like that they that they don't have this the the right skins in. It sucks. But I anyway, oh, so we tune in as we see a KO of less shots and hmm. Oops. Wow, uh, what you would kind of expect attrition is is tough here. What's up, Doomfrog? Congratulations on the slaughter today, and thank you. Your check is in the mail. <laughs> yeah, big win. Yeah, Kelt was saying uh, you're gonna that, that helped him, especially that one last kill. I think most of them were badly hurt. I think the one Nagel. Yep. <laughs> that's uh, two. Yeah, Nagel's player. dead and uh, missed next game. Yeah, so that's three guys I don't have to see next week. So thank you very much. You give them a kind of um, no, because remember my team is taking the hit too. So I was gonna get inducements against him. We might end up even now. Or am I end up giving up? Uh, nothing, but I was already down. I lost the week before. I lost oh, yeah. my... Uh, I lost uh, Lowell. Volkus Lowell. That's right. That's right. <laughs> 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 that was uh, yeah, unexpected ass-kicking mm -hmm. in terms of attrition. Gracious. <laughs> yeah, it happens. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Nuffle doesn't like to be cursed. You guys are both getting away with some one die. You guys love throwing on one dies, man. Yeah. <laughs> two plus. Yeah. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was hoping. Uh, looks like we might actually have a chance next week now. Oh God, here we go. Here we go. Three, three missing. Yeah. I didn't know you bought a rookie wolf there, Justin. I didn't yeah, know. I today. Like, Whoa, he's got two wolves. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Kelt, just so you know, I'll have to wait till next week to roll over for the confirmation. Oh, way to go, man. Way to go. Probably should have after that result.
Hey, hey by the way, fellas, we're, we're um, we've we've, we've we switched over to the um, Play Inc. versus Musalon Morningstar. So if you can find it on your yeah, Cabal we Vision, a, we got yeah. a rookie runner with the ball here. This is insane. I can't yep. believe I'm watching this. And wait, wait, um, wait, wait, wait. and there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of Nurgle getting hypno gaze what? right now. These vampires are too sexy. They cannot resist the charms. It's like looking into Prince's arms. <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing a movement eight Pestagore. I did not know Ran had a movement eight. Pestagor. Oh yeah, yeah. Pestagore is no he joke. So I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right, man. Here. See you. Right, Good game. Well right, played, right. both of you. You can take Justo next week. We won't complain. Nah, he might. He might. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you could keep him. I think they're yours now. They're, I even had him engraved with Let's your name on. Rookie on rookie. <laughs> Ball's loose. That's crazy, and the oh, fans take it. Fans catch the ball and they throw it clear across the field. And we're seeing the, the uh, yeah, we're seeing uh, Edward Kennedy the Black run within range of that ball. I love these names. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, he did a great job on these names. All right. Cool, cool. Inside and not take on Max with the young, uh, or with the thrall. <laughs> well, obviously yeah, I wonder what the. Not a goblin. Oh, because he's, he's got a, uh, well, it would have been a one just... die. Would have been no, a one die, but four. he's. Strength but he, no, because look at the uh, vamp standing next to him. Colin of Powell is a guard. Mm. Good call, good call. I didn't see so that. I would have took the chance on that. I'm not going to let oh, Max just change on me. What, what are they going to do? Hug it out? Let's hug it out, bro. Hug it out. Yeah. But no, you, you got to take wanna, that one down. I'd rather the, the, uh oh. So no problem for that uh, Pestagore. Gishnagore just picks that ball up and says, hey, thanks, crowd, for putting it right where it's convenient for me. Look at that movement. That thing needs to die. More than a yeah. wolf does, actually. Movement 8? Come on. Movement 8 bludge? No, no, no. Yeah, cool. not cool, bro. Nah, and bro. Bro, Sick Jagger is going to give Hillary of Clinton the business, but she <laughs> takes it like nothing. She, she takes it with her man pants. Yeah, she's got her suit <laughs> pants, and they're, and they're resistant to kicks. Believe me, many people have wanted to and tried to kick her. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, oh look at this he oh, puts the, that Beth, annoying yeah, that annoying beast the unclean one is going to mark up two vampires and then max is gonna give make ridiculous parry regret not taking a swing at him when he could taking the swing bro should have taken it bro got a swing man. swing that thing what happens to me eat my chainsaw hmm okay mm. okay let's see how the vamps are gonna retaliate here they got a few options i'm not liking them uh for the uh the, the <laughs> fucking blood never mind blood is <laughs> fine these vamps got no tackle oh they got a new tackle piece oh didn't see that that's uh Edward and, 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 yeah but he's got That's some uh he's got tentacles on him so can he slip away is the question well, i wasn't saying that i just didn't know he had tackle because i know Sturm. he's been saying it all season now i gotta get tackled got yeah he has he has been saying that Ooh, a little punch face action Fra phrasis the distasteful is stunned and to me there's 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 one move to make here Mm. That's the best mm. throw on the team, by the way. What's that? The throw it through the punch. Best throw on the team. You sound a little low. Magrida. So. That is the best throw of the league, dude. You oh, beers crazy. of Magrida. <laughs> Death. That's funny. Look at that. So, uh -oh. Hillary bloodlusts, and now she's going to have some issues. Oh, she Ooh, got the big beast. That's managed the big to. Deal. Yeah, that changes the, everything right there. Takes a bite while she's at it. I gotta my, my man pants. 
But that frees up <laughs> Edward Kennedy, the black, to do something that Rand doesn't want. The last thing you want is the only tackle piece on this team. Free. Yeah. Does Gaze actually stop tentacles as well? Yeah. Yes, it does, because he's, he's looking at the vampire, right? His tackle zones are gone. <laughs> Basically, it removes tackle zones, so it you know the whole yeah, definition like of tackles uh, is if you try to leave their tackle zones, but they, they don't have tackle zones. So right now... Coach Sturmdraw has to be hoping. No whammy, no whammy, no whammy, no whammy. What is going on, though? He's not moving, and time seems to be running out. You must have paused, and we don't know about it. Oh, so that's probably it. That's probably yeah. it. Is the, the game. They have paused, and when that happens, it doesn't always reflect on Cabal Vision. Oh, yeah. Or usually does not actually reflect on Cabal Vision. We go back. Because there's still a lot of things for Sturm to do here that he needs to do. Oh, of course, I could, uh... Commercial. Twitch Prime, everybody, Twitch Prime. Uh, it looks like he's back, and here we go. Edward Kennedy the Black going to take a smack, and Gishnagors is going to go down. He's going to feel the mighty blow. All up in your nose. Boom! Oh, that armor's going to break. Kishnagor lets go of the ball. He has no clue where he is at this point. But Edward Kennedy knows where he is. He's within range of that ball. Wow. Question is, do you go over with your other vamp to get the ball? Uh -huh. Or would you go over uh -huh. there and surf the throw? Uh-huh. Mm. Uh -huh. That's what I'm looking at, but yeah. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. There we go. Aww. It's all right. Oh, it's yeah. Team. Just it's take the team. touchdown. Why not? Hashtag just score, yeah? Yep. No, that's that was score? definitely the right call. That was the right call for real. I but, was uh, Because <laughs> you're vicious. You're vicious and you only vicious. care about hurting the other team instead of scoring. No, I'm just giving the fans what they wanted. Somebody Blood. to kick. Blood. Especially a rotter. Blood. Especially 3-0-0. That's game. <laughs> that that score is game. They're not going to be. So we're going to see Plague Inc. Take, take their first loss and snap mm -hmm. that win streak that Rand likes to brag about. Wow, this opens up play pool a little bit as well. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It means it, it could spin out of control for, for Rand uh, and Plague Inc. But he's got to screw up some more for him to uh, lose to, to blow his playoff hopes. But this is a step in the in the wrong direction for him, so we can only hope, yeah, right? <laughs> Hate, well, hating on our play pool mate. We're all hoping. <laughs> I see uh, Lord Decay the second. Oh wow, big uh, change in names there. Uh, original, <laughs> <Be> original. <laughs> uh, original. <laughs> By the way, it is. Uh... <laughs> Hold on, I'm still choking on the originalness here. <laughs> <laughs> it is. By the way. Uh, the, worth mentioning that Max got thrown out of the match by the uh, Gabo ref, who finally noticed that he was running around chainsawing people and said, I don't think you're supposed to be doing that. How did he not notice? How did he <laughs> no not clue. notice? <laughs> no there clue. Must have been a bribing there, a little bit of, a little bit of extra gold. Going you know? He had a silencer on his, cha on his chainsaw. Oh, yeah, oh there you go. That's crazy. Chainsaw, right? That is crazy. To hold on to it, but... Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it, theoretically, it's possible for Plague to come back from this. Not likely for yes. a Nurgle team, but it's possible still. Especially well, with the uh, that fast Pestigore, yeah. I just put him on the line, it looks like. Oh, there's some cackling going on outside the, uh, the booth here. It's kind of scaring me more than... Any of these teams right now? Uh oh. That's my wife and her friend. Just so you guys know. The girls are cackling. Everybody run! <sighs> well, he puts the router in the back again. Interesting. Uh -oh. Where'd everybody is go? That, is that Doomfrog saying he's gonna burn his PS4? Who ran? No, Rand's burn his PS4. Kelt. I didn't see that. That was Kelp when you're at, when you're gonna invite him to the. Uh, uh oh. He said he was gonna go burn his uh, PS4. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. 
Yeah, I hope he keeps those dice now, and then that becomes his curse. That's how I got rid of him last time, I think. I remember passing them on to somebody. I think it was Thunden. And then he was all I mad about it. Was, yeah. <laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Finally got rid of him. Yeah, I'm like the uh, Blood Bowl version of it's of It Follows, if you guys ever seen that movie. <laughs> I, inf I infect you with my dice, and then I'm good. And it's your problem. <laughs> So this is a this is a bold strategy by Randy sending Frasis to distasteful the rotter back to field the ball. Oh, big power. And it looks like he's trying to is he trying to one turn right now? Is that what he's trying to do? He's this would be interesting. Like he's trying to one turn here. I'm not sure up, that's man. really the mm, his no, best chance. And then why did he do it that way instead of the other way, other way. Actually, there's an opening on the field, but now he's put his his uh, Pestigore in a position where. Hmm, what's going on there? I don't. I'm in doubt. Beat on trolls. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that, he needed a push there. A little push might have given. Uh, I, I don't really know what's. Way. Did Rand screw up? I think he started doing what he thought the one turn. What was the? Yeah, he rolled the skull. Oh. And, uh, a stump, defender stumble, so he didn't get a push. Oh, so that was it. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. But he did need the quick score. I saw what his thought process was. There. I need a quick score. Try to turn it over quick. The thing is, they have five vampires. Five of them. Yeah, Just that's like, crazy. <laughs> Who authorized that? <laughs> no, it's five, not six. Yeah, it's not looking like fast. now with with this strategy. Nah, if he was going for the quick score, well, it's, it's, it's fumbled up now. It's, no, he didn't have to get the I one turn, but now he's kind of he, now he's in a bad position for a two turn score. Yeah, I, I think he's nah. One turn didn't work. Yeah, game over. Because uh, he could have gone two turn score, and then. You know, take the ball back and score again. Well, the router picked up the ball. There's a good, there's a good little router back there. That is good for him. Yeah, that's, that's impressive. Very impressive. Problem is, he's left Lord Disease sitting up in front of everybody else. So it's going to be a... He's kind of... Oh, no, he's going to go after Carl the Weak. Why is he going to go after uh, somebody bigger? Broader. <laughs> I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Let's see what the vamps decide to do here, Doom. Did you go down for the uh, the parade today, Doom? I work. <laughs> oh, you poor bastard. I'm on strike, so I don't know. I could have gone, but I don't go to trial. I didn't even go to Mississauga Square to watch the game. I just watched it on my TV. Oh, isn't that so much cheaper and more comfortable? It is. I watched the last three minutes. This first time in probably eight years I watched a ball game. Just saying. I do. I don't know. Not a big football or a baseball or a basketball guy. Crazy baseball. Um, I. <clears throat> I used to hate basketball. But the last four years, I really like the, how the Raptors played, and it negated a lot of the things I hated. So I started pre the start of stuff that really bothered me. I started to understand it more of the uh, strategic stuff in the involvement. Uh, yeah, like a couple of like, big gripes are still gripes, but they're they're somewhat negated because I'm enjoying it, at least some of the smaller details because when you don't follow basketball the, the, like I find it's tough to tell what a foul is at first like I think that's a big oh, thing with, uh, with basketball is like trying to figure out what's a foul what's not and just there's a lot of little inner rules on what's contact what's not and once you kind of start to figure that out like I feel like soccer it's pretty clear cut baseball the rules although a lot of them are pretty clear cut uh, and easy to sure. follow but I find basketball for the uninitiated. There's a lot of little things that are going on that um, you know, I still don't get. Like, like I get a screen, but I can't. Um, the finer details of the coverage and rolling and zones and stuff. 
I can picture that in hockey fine, but I cannot picture that on basketball. No, I can't either. That's why I get yeah. lost in it so quick. Yeah. It's like I, I just you can't even picture I visualize it, not picture, but visualize what the the setups or the movements or shit like that. It's like no. Yeah. No, can't do it. Sorry. I'm back. Speaking of it, here we go. A big one day coming in on Colin Apollo. Looks like a champ. Or right, like a vamp. Hi, all. Ah, uh, see what you did there. You see what I did there? Mm. <laughs> I need to pick that one up. <laughs> <laughs> this is. Yeah, I think uh, this is not looking good for. Uh, for the Playpool uh, leading team right now. They're going to bring Thrall up. They're going to give him a little hand Ooh, off. Oh, like. a little. Yeah. Instead, he, he goes to give him a hand uh, a handoff. Instead, he gives him a hand job, and that results in him dropping the ball. Hand across the face more like it. Like, you know, you can be fast and uh, maneuverable, but if you got no hands, man, you ain't going to get far in this league. True. Maybe pull the open up those eyelids on the mask a little bit more so you can, you can visualize that ball coming into those hands or those paws. <laughs> visualize the balls Whatever. coming in the hands. <laughs> make it like a V. You know, that's what they taught us back in my days. Make it like a V. <laughs> figure that out. Well, actually, he did say. Right, that that rotter did his job. Went, picked up the ball, and moved it down the pitch. Went to hand it off to the speedster, and uh, yeah, but then he gave him a hand job instead of just a handoff, and that distracted him. So it's a, that's why they call him Phrases the distasteful. <laughs> yeah, he's so distasteful. <laughs> that was very distasteful of him. That was that was kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> This kind of got on the phone. Gishna goes like, all right, give me the ball. Hey, what are you doing, man? That's not cool, bro. Dude, we're in the middle of a match, man. <laughs> yeah. Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Good problems, Good. man. You don't even have your tents yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ooh, so what's, what's going to happen here? A little gazing? Yeah, and he's unable it's to awesome. successfully charm chicken pox. The fans can be very aggressive here as well. Absolutely. So, absolutely. I, I think uh, Rand was just playing it too conservative for being so many people down. I think he had to send people up the field a lot more. A couple uh, turns ago. After that failed uh, one turner. Maybe yeah. this match. We haven't been watching the whole thing, right? But I think the Vaps, Vamps have just been doing vampy things, and I think that he's they've kind of frustrated the, this Nurgle team. A little Sturm yeah, magic going? Oh, yeah. Well, story of the season for Sturm. All right. Carl the Week. Huh? That's what he does. Hmm. Got the EG5 Vamp still available. See how aggressive he gets. Mm. This guy's blitz as well. To that. Choosy. Who's he gonna target? Got many options. Do the whole play pool favor and go off for Lord Disease. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Oh, oh, man down. Or vamp down. Vamp down. Oh, sorry, I got confused. I saw the, the beer wench fall down the stairs. Oh, many people are laughing too. <laughs> Close that window up. Oh, a little, a little hip, hypnosis going on. And is he going to finish strong with it? Did he ever use his blitz? No, I don't think he's used the blitz yet. And he's, he's unable to gaze. Like he wanted to, I think he wanted to gaze on that rotter, but he ran out of time. Ooh. This is going to be interesting to see how. Uh, Ooh, a little red die action. Hoping for some Rand dice. Rand decides, uh, you know what? I've had enough. You know, this cow calling a peril or Powell, the, the straight five vampire who we all uh, remember from week one was a pain in the ass, doing his thing as always. Minus last week. <laughs> he got removed pretty quick last week. Bounces back and looks like he's still having another hell of a game. 
That ball's He's just sitting Lewis. there, surrounded. Oh. Everybody's kind of looking at it, but also realizing that at this point in the match, the ball doesn't really matter much anymore for in the long term of things. I'm sure play would like to score, but inflicting a little hurt on the other side is probably looking even more attractive to them right now. All right, all right. Judging how uh, I'm coming into this game uh, in the late stages, I can see, uh, yeah, they're looking for a little bit of some, some flesh to go with uh, all of that goodness. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Chicken pox on the down. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I still remember. So Gish Gishnagor does his part, gets downfield, and chicken pox unable to do his part. That's going to open up the door for the vamps. They, they, they could score very easily here. You would have thought the, mo the um, two heads on chicken would have helped them get to that ball. Uh, but look at that. That's Beers. Beers of, Magri of Magrita yeah. is down the field. You must kill that offspring. That you don't like it? Child. Oh, was he? Uh, no, he wasn't a. Uh, he wasn't taken from you though, from your team, right? No, 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 no. no. Just named just as an homage. Him. I know how you hate that, so you're not going to stand right? for it. <laughs> it's like a master child. Right? You know, <laughs> yeah, with those running around. Line, right? You don't want Stu for a love child hanging child. around. <laughs> no, you don't. That is strong. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if he was around week one. I didn't see it, but if I would have known, oh, heaven's the Betsy. <laughs> <laughs> How's Musilong going to play this? Bless you. Yeah, let's see. It looks I'm like, going to eliminate uh, the scoring threat or just put two people uh, on the scoring threat. Oh, there's that hypnotic gaze, and who can resist that charm of the sexy Count Benjamin throwing, of Carson? Uh, Boom. Hillary of Clinton picking up the ball again, working those pantsuits. Oh, she's going to take an extra step too many. Man down. Pops back up. And extra training really helped her out. Let's see where the blitz is going to come in. After this blitz, I got a roar. Another blitz. But the, uh, oh, he still got his blitz, doesn't he? So Sturm, Sturm decided not to leave it up to the uh, to the uh, pro. He used a reroll. Actually burnt a team reroll on that. Not, not going to hand it off. Not going to take another shot. I'm surprised. Oh, not to take a shot at Lord I'm Disease. surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised about that. Less shots wow. could have gone at Lord Disease, and then there could have been a follow-up block from Colin of Powell on Sherry wow, Rotleg instead. Because it figures the damage is done. This game is in the bag. Uh-oh. And now Rand is going to make him pay. There we Le go. Less shots looking Let's like he's in serious he's danger. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This could be bad. Oh, no. And all he manages to do is push Sir Cole into foul. Let's give him a little shovey shove. A push, He's push in the, the bush. Uh -huh. Oh, man. The beast of Nurgle. Maybe blind the unclean wants, one. That's going to be the end of him. Yeah, the unclean one is looking around, just pretty much trying to act like he went stupid. He knows what's going on, but he just doesn't want any more of the business. There is another failed dodge from Chickenpox. Chickenpox is not coming through today for his team. Uh, he's he's been pretty beat up so far this season, even with the team being three, you know. Yeah, and I think this may this this is a possibility that maybe this team, um, you know, play again has burnt out early in the season. They just lost too many of their key players, and that they're going to need every bit of that three three zero and zero head start to uh, to try to make it into the playoffs. They're just going to try to like ride ride the momentum into the playoffs. Yeah, exactly. Even with the the wheels have come off the car, but they're hoping that it's built up enough momentum. And that's it, right. ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're going to see 19 armor breaks from Plague Inc. and 15 from the Musilon Morningstars. So these teams were hitting.
They were really going oh, at each other, as we saw. That, what's crazy is they got that many armor blocks and only 44 blocks from Plague Inc. and 29 from Musilon. So, again, surgically going at each other. There were eight KOs against the Morningstars. A lot of them came back. I think that helped them out. And, geez, yeah, yeah, unable to... Play couldn't even okay, inflict one cash. Like, uh, All right, bro. Oh, Thanks for joining me. Fun. Yeah, good time. Absolutely. Some good Absolutely. games tonight. And thank you all for tuning in. Um, we'll take, you know what I'll do? I'll take us out of here and we can take a look at the, uh, what the table looks like now. And oh, I understand if you got to go or you stick, feel free to oh, stick I'll around. Let's have a quick peek. Just a quick Cool. Peek. So we're looking at the leaderboard for the play pool. Again, only the top two teams are going to the playoffs. Uh, the, so Play Gink is going to take, they haven't confirmed yet. So they're going to take a loss on that. It's going to make them 3 0 1. Meanwhile, going to take a loss. Right. And which makes them 2 0 2. 2. And then Magrita is 2 2 and 1. So that keeps you above the goons. No, 2 1 and 1. No, we had four. Oh, two, right. One, we one. confirmed. My bad. Two, one, and one. Right. Okay. So you're, st but you're still above the goons. Point above. Mor Morning stars are going to pick up the win, which makes them two, two, and zero, oh, which that puts them above Magrita. So, me. Yep. yep. So Magrita That's is now good. in the third place, and you're going to need Sturm to drop the ball, and you're going to have to come through. Uh, meanwhile, ATX still left to play this week, I believe. Um, yep. Doom Frogs Norse are one, zero, oh, and three. No, no, one, uh, two, zero, oh, and two. Right. Two on two, yeah. Yeah, at this point. So they're going to jump up to uh, tie for, tie for, for fifth, I think. Fourth. Yeah, fourth, fifth, yeah. fourth. Wait. Yeah, wait. Yep, so fifth. Yeah. Uh, loss. Right. Yeah. Play. So, yeah, okay. Yeah, they're going to bump up into tie for third right now. No, fourth no, right th now. Yeah, fourth, so, fourth. So, so it's going to be Plague. Place. It's going to be... Um, Boy, Plague, Musilon, Magrita, and then Goons at 2 and 2 and Norse at 2 and 2 So they're both tied for fourth. And then it becomes, uh, I think, it might, wait, is it us or is it? AT, no, it's not us. ATX, you, yeah. and then uh, the Tree Dogs. Yep. So, yeah. yeah. So, it's ooh. still pretty tight. Very Everybody, tight yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Everybody's kind of still in it. I mean, theoretically, even the Tree Dogs could win out and potentially take it. So, who knows? Yeah, absolutely. S still, on they're up against. Yeah, still early enough in the season. So, all right, everybody. Well, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Beers. It was a great time, as always, Cheers, in the bro. booth with you. And uh, thanks to the coaches, everybody who played today. Thanks to everybody who tuned in. This is the MML, uh, Meet a Mayhem League. If, uh, you know, if you ch It's a PS4 Blood Bowl League. Check it out, www.mmlpro.com. And also, if you, liked, uh, if you like hearing me talk about shit, I got my own podcast. It's called Live from the Man Cave. And uh, you can find it on any podcast app. I'll put the details in here here in a second and uh, you can also find it directly at um, at livemancave.com all right everybody thanks and we are out of here